Hey everyone, welcome back to another Ionic Figma tutorial slash now we're just gonna do stuff and record it. Um, this video is gonna be about me kind of refactoring the segments component. Um, I've been working on this kind of a little bit throughout the day. And basically what I want to do is right now there's a lot of these components over here. And one of the big challenges that I feel like this doesn't really solve is if I'm setting up my Figma component over here and I swap between instances, my changes don't carry over, which I feel like is kind of a pain. Just general maintenance is kind of hard because all of these don't aren't derived from the same root component, which is like a master component. So yeah, that's going to be what I'm going to be working on today. And right now what we have, so what I have so far is a s component for every state of the tabs that we have. And then like a border component and a segment content right here. So this is like the same thing that's used throughout everywhere. And it's just layers are turned on or off depending on how they're being used. I think the ideal scenario would be there would be one thing I'm thinking is we don't need all of these extra states we can just keep I would just want to keep the r resting ones and then the disable inactive ones I don't think there's really a need to keep everything else like that's not really going to be something that you're going to use in your design flow yeah I want to give a quick shout out to is this is actually originally taken from so this file, those segments are actually taken directly from um, this great design system that I got. I think this is on Google's material website. It's pretty great. It's just not tuned for Ionic, so I decided to, you know, and I decided to use this as a starting point, but now it seems like I'm gonna be doing a rewrite of the whole thing. I'm gonna take this as a master. So this is gonna be our main component. We'll just call it a block. So now we need to set this up in a way where turning off the text or the icon turns it into one of these automatically so that we don't have to go out and create this independent of a master. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just add auto layout to this and see what we get. I think this should just be the size of itself. It's not helping anybody by being so big. And we want this to be above it. And all this should be centered. It's 48 pixels tall, which is good. It's kind of what we want. So let's make this 72, or it should be about 70 pixels tall. So to do that, I think what we need is we had, if I add uh, just 12 to the top, we get that. And then let's add spacing between 11. So we're at 71, let's take this down to 10. So there's that. Now if we turn this off, we get a component. Oh, perfect. All right. So that was easier than I thought it was going to be. So now we have one component that can replace all of these at the source level, kind of. And these can all just be variants of this component, which is super handy. So one thing I also just checked is that the disabled ones don't have the line at the bottom. So, all right, let's go out, let's go through and start working on this. So this is just this, right? So this has no overrides, good. Okay, so now it's, I'm just gonna go through and name all of these real quick and I'll catch up with you in a second. Okay, so it looks like I have these in a fairly good con situation. The only problem I'm facing is that I decided to make this um, grow to fit the text, like auto width. But the problem with that is that it's using the button medium font inside of it. So I'm just going to go and check and see what the best solution for that is real quick. And then I'll see what... I'm either going to decide to give it its own font or we'll see what we can do about that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these because we don't need them. 
organize these. And yeah, I'll work on naming these in a second after I get this figured out. Okay, so here's the CSS that I was blatantly looking past for the segment button. Um, and yeah, it looks like we basically just, um, it's the button font size and stuff, but the line height is actually coming from uh, the segment itself. Basically, this didn't help. So that's too bad. That's how research goes. You look for a bunch of stuff and it doesn't work out. So let's see. Ideally, I want to keep this connected to the button font. That way, if we update the button font, it still kind of like carries through to this stuff over here. So if we make this really long now, now it starts wrapping. That's not what we want. We want this to grow based on this. So it does have to be hug contents. Okay, well, that's just too bad because I think I'm just going to make a new font for this because there's no real other option here. So 22 pixels. If anybody can think of a better solution to this conundrum, let me know. I will happily use it. Push overrides to master. Tragically. So now we should come over here and update all of these to use this now, or use these. So first we need to turn these into components, right? Yeah, right, we need to, yeah. Probably can do without these and just edit them directly in here. I guess I should combine these as variants first before I move into replacing these. So we can get rid of the elements property. Content. And state. Oh, we can just make this active. True and false. So now, segment button. If I turn this on and off, and text, and swoom, boom, 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 sweet. Now, this probably isn't going to work. Ooh, okay. And, oh, wow, nice. Okay, so the swapping thing does work now. That's awesome. I am actually really happy about that. I did not expect that to work. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's call this segment button. So now, I'm going to detach this from its instance. How should I proceed? Need to use auto layout, so it has auto layout, which is good. Should hug contents. These should all be set to fill container on their width. Oh, they're not growing on the inside. All right, so let's fix that first. Because basically, what should happen is if I set all of these individually to fill container, they should all equally distribute the space, kind of like um, if they were all set to flex grow, like if all of their flex grow properties were set to one. We still do not have a growing thingamajig. Because I'm guessing that all of these do not have their children to fill container. Boom. And there we go. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, how nice is that to look at? But that just made somebody's day. All right. And now, if we select all these, make them icon only. Oh, that's magic. Segments, let's rename this to master. Make it a component. And now we just replace all of these. I don't know if there's a fast way to just replace these. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, who knows but I'm just gonna go ahead and make new components because I don't know how to do it otherwise. There we go, and now we're just gonna rename these all. So 
Okay, I think that's as nice as it's going to look for now. And now we have beautiful upgraded segment components that just are a whole lot better because they now support our here. You know what? Let's give a tour of what they can do now. So now if you pull out, let's start from the beginning. So segment. So now after this long ass recording, if you pull out a segment component and decide to use it. Oh, okay. It's conflicting because I have two text ones. So actually I need to add a whole new thing to this, um, a new property, which is um, shadow. Okay, so now when you use this, it's going to be way better because the segments actually respect the work that you've done already. So first of all, you can toggle the shadow on and on, on and off. Sorry about that. And you can switch between any kind. So and it automatically resizes and everything is beautiful. So say you rename this to calls missed calls and favorites for some reason that's how you decide to name it and you can switch the icons um now let's do let's see what other call things we have outline and make it i'm just having fun now you know danger and that's not what we want we need to get rid of something here because that's not right yeah so let's say for some reason that's the best you can come up with so now when you turn this to icon only your icons stay for some reason there's a problem with the way the fill is working okay for whatever reason there seems to be an issue going on with the icons and i cannot be bothered to solve it right now but yeah basically you see how you can switch between any of these really easily and if you want if you only want like the selected one to have text or something you can just swap those out or make certain ones different from the others and it all works perfectly and it also gets does not get bigger all right what's the deal here should we fill in container and it also grows and shrinks so it's easier, it's better, and it's, you won't believe it's not real butter. I don't know, it's dumb, but that's how you customize the segments component. And yeah, it's a lot easier to use and to change any one thing. So if you wanna change the font of all of these, you just come up here and just select whatever you want the new thing to look like and everything updates. Same with the font size, just change anything to anything and it all works which is really amazing how stuff just kind of works like that sometimes. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'm gonna make this a lot shorter than this record time of 54 minutes. Bye, peace.